Welcome back to Purple Monkey TCG. This is episode 2 of 2, the Yangling deck. Um, Corset 2020. We are going to be getting into the deck. If you haven't seen episode 1, I recommend it. It was the unboxing in the Planeswalker descriptions. Um, don't forget, like, subscribe, get your notifications going. And in case I forgot, I'm Leah, your host. So let's get into this deck. I'm excited. So, we got our cards across the bottom we don't need. We'll get that out of here. Okay, so we'll just set those off to the side. So here's our rares. We've got the Dungeon Geist. Yangling's Harbinger. Got a couple of those. Nice. The Riddle Master Sphinx. Always nice. Air Elementals. We're getting into the Uncommons now. Lots of flying on a bunch of these creatures, especially that first set. And then we're going to get into the standard blues, more folk creatures, elementals, spirits, what have you. More flying. This is definitely a flying based deck. No argument there. So. The Waterkin Shaman could be very useful with this many flying creatures in your deck because you get a plus one plus one for every flying creature that enters the battlefield until the end of the turn. So you pop off a couple small ones with a lot of mana like this and then you can uh, get some plus ones on there and really amp up his, uh, the ability of that card. So here's our spells and our instants. Not a lot of sorcery going on. So definitely a very strong deck. Um, lots of heavy hitters in there. Lots of flying to bypass defenses. So all in all, excited to try and play this deck. Very excited. So I want to hear about some of your guys' favorite Planeswalkers in the comment section. This is Purple Monkey TCG. I'm Leah, and I will see you all next time.